same mouth. Shelly dumped me and Chase dumped Brooks, so we're here together. Is that cool? Uh, yeah. No, I mean, of course. You, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But, um, Brooks in the bathroom washing the word whore off her dress. Uh, let me guess. Peyton. Yeah, but the way Brooke reacted, you would have thought it was a valentine. I understand girls less every day. I know what you mean. No, Peyton is not even coming to prom. Apparently, she'd rather sit home. Alone. Hello, Karen. Deb. You sober? <laughs> I spent the last hour outside a bar. I wanted to go in. Believe me, a drink would have helped me to say this. Dan's in love with you. Deb, I know how this must look to you, but it's not what you think it is. He told me himself before I went into rehab. You've been a good friend to me, Karen, in spite of some really bad decisions. So it's time for me to return the favor. I don't know what Dan has said or done, but I know that man will never change. He's still a sadistic bastard. Please, for your sake, for the sake of your baby, run away as fast as you can. dreamed about looking at that trophy in this case for a long time. I guess you have too. It'll be there long after we're gone. Well, in your case, that should be soon. You know, the good thing about basketball is each new season you get to start over fresh. Not like real life where your failures come back to haunt you. If you got something to say, be a man and say it. Don't send text messages like some little girl. What the hell's a text message? Don't play games with me, Whitey. You'll lose. What's the matter, Danny? You look like something's haunting you. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I just... I see him sometimes. The fake Derek. Like, when I close my eyes, or... Sometimes I think I can hear him when I'm in the shower. Yeah. You know how long it takes me to dry my hair? I turn the blow dryer off, like, every ten seconds to listen for something that's not even there. And wearing headphones is completely out of the question. It'll get better. It's just gonna take some time. He can't hurt us anymore. And I don't know, maybe we should thank him. Because no matter what he tried to take from us, he actually brought us back together. Luke, guys, man, am I glad to see you. What it's kind of a long story. Let's just get out of here. Conrad. Gino. All right. All right. Dane.
<laughs> Let him go, Lemmy. Peyton. You must be Peyton. Um, yeah. I was, uh, very sorry to hear about your mom Ellie's passing. See, I lost my mom to breast cancer about five years ago. I'm sure, I'm sure Ellie was very proud of you. What? Thank you. Hi. Brooke Davis. Oh, we know. I've seen you all over the interweb. Naked. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Hey. Hey, kiddo. Boy, are we busy at the cafe. Apparently reporters are hungry when they're chasing a scandal about high school gambling. The investigators are calling me. What did you say? Well, I told them that my son has too much integrity to be involved in something like that. Do you have anything else you want to tell me? No. All right. I will talk to our lawyer about what you should do or say. Yeah, that's fine. Um, look, I gotta, I gotta go do some things, okay? Hey, Lucas, look. The truth can never hurt you. I hope you're right, Mom. I really do.